Hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and me, Crafty Scrapper, here on YouTube and Instagram. Today is an episode of our monthly um, Master Board series. We are um, working today with some fall papers and colors, and um, I'm actually going to work this Master Board um, tall rather than sideways like I usually do. So we're going to work this way. No particular reason, just because I wanted to try it this way instead of um, landscape. So I have out, since we're probably going to be working with lots of browns in the papers and things, uh, with it being fall themed, um, I wanted to go with Rustic Wilderness as my distress ink for around the edges and around the pieces that go on. We're using our matte collage podge, a wide bristle paintbrush, our mini blending tool with a dome foam for the ink. We may incorporate some of this dyed fabric that I had left over from the project. And I'm thinking that I will use some of these tickets from Miss um, Betty's custom design Etsy shop. And we may do some stamping too, not sure, but um, you will see what I make out of the master board when we are done collaging and it dries, then we will cut it up and I'll show you some things I'm making with the pieces. So let's get started with what we want to add as our base and I'm thinking um, I want to tear some of these two pieces together. This is just paper that I had from my stash here and then this is the new Craft Consortium um, collection patina. So I've got that side of that paper and that side so lots of options there. And then this side with the leaves and then this side has um, all kinds of little borders. So I'm thinking I want to go ahead and cut out this pumpkin border because I want to use that somehow on this master board. And maybe this blue border here and cut out the wording for some of the finished pieces. And then I will tear up the rest of it. So let's get our cutter up here. And we are using our big Fiskars for this 12 by 12 paper. And of course, we'll use some scraps too from my scrap pile. So let's cut this beautiful watercolor looking pumpkin border. Out. Well, I don't know what happened there. I must have pulled up too soon because it sure didn't cut it the first time. Huh. Okay, that's so pretty. I love that. And then this blue border of words. And we'll cut that up later. All right, and then let's see here. So I want to go portrait way instead of landscape. So let's go ahead and tear us off some of this paper. And I think I'm just gonna go right at the edge there with that and then let's just cut this paper to go back behind the torn piece. I'm going to cut a little strip here to use later. That's got some good coloring. And then a wide piece here. 
and I want to use this side. The other side is beautiful too, but let's use this side. And I'm thinking that and that. And of course we'll cut off the excess. And then what do we want to use on the other side? Maybe we could use this. Yep. We could use that and yeah, I like that. So I want to cut off some of this so I don't waste all of that underneath here. It looks kind of scrapbookish at the moment, but it won't once we are done. So I need to cut this at about there. And then go ahead and cut this one off. Give myself another little tiny strip to work with later. Now, master boards or collage boards or um, collaged backgrounds or whatever you want to call it. Um, I've still had people asking, what's a master board? Well, it's just just collage some stuff together if you've got scraps if you've got pieces from your um stash that you want to use up but you just don't know how just collage it all together with a piece of backer paper this is just a piece of that premium copy paper it's not regular copy paper it's not cardstock but it's the uh upgrade from copy paper that i'm using as my base and um, you can just use it as your jumping off point to whatever else you want to do. Um, I'm thinking I want to go up here and use that as a piece, um, even if it's torn like that, using that because it's so colorful and pretty. And then we can use that top piece for something else. So let's cut our pieces off here. So I'm wanting to cut, this is 12 by 12, so I'm wanting to cut one inch off of this. Okay. Perfect, good, good, good. And then an inch off of this one. And we can use these little pieces later. And if you had 12 by 12 paper, of course you could use that and not even have to cut off the one inch. Okay, so I have my Rustic Wilderness. This is one of the new Tim Holtz Oxide or Distress Ink colors. And this just so happens to be the Oxide one that I got. And I am inking my edges with this. And when we're done with the master board, I will ink the outside edges of the actual master board too. I love this green. This is it's a dark forest looking green. I like it. It's gonna be beautiful also for Christmas creations. So anybody looking for a Christmas, uh, like a vintagey Christmas green, this is the green for you. This is what you want. I hope that these monthly master board videos are relaxing to you and even though you don't have the exact same products that I have um, and it's not an 
actual tutorial video. Um, I hope that they are relaxing and calming for you to um, watch them all come together. I'm just going to ink the tops of this one since my sides will be covered up with that torn paper I did. Okay. And uh, for anybody using these dome foams from the shop, um, they, of course, don't stand up for you. So what I do is I put the lid beside it and just kind of anchor it there like that. Or anybody wondering about that because I know these other ones the um, felts that you can buy they stand up on top of your uh, pad for you and that's wonderful but you know I love the dome uh, I feel like I have more control over the dome uh, tips than I do the um, felts the flat felts. <laughs> All right, so I have my non-stick mat underneath my piece so that if I get glue everywhere or collage podge everywhere, it's all right. It's not gonna ruin my desktop. And I'm just covering over the back of this piece with my matte medium. And then I will put it all over the base. Not too, too much because we'll be putting more on the pieces also. And I'm just going to smooth that out. I love collage podge and I love that it's a matte finish too. If I want to make something shiny, I will make it shiny <laughs> with um, stickles or something like that if I want to. But I like a matte finish and most everybody that I know pretty much likes a good matte finish on their projects. Okay, and I just went ahead and put that one piece down there with what collage podge I had already put down. And then I'll just put a little extra down the side so we don't have any pull up, hopefully, for when we put the other pieces on top. So we're just gonna smooth that collage podge out. And you might as well just go over your one piece that you're putting down. If you're collaging along with me. Okay, and then add this other piece before the collage podge that I put on there dries. <laughs> put that on a little too soon, didn't I? And then go all the way to the edge and a little more collage podge there to get those edges down. All the way across. I just love making something new out of something I had in my stash and it was just taking up space. So this paper here had been in my stash for years and years and years. And I love that I'm able to make it into something of my own and something that I can use in my current albums, journals, planners, whatever. Because the way it was obviously wasn't working because it stayed in my, um, <laughs> It stayed in my stash for so many years. So I wasn't using it for a reason. So let's cut it up and make it into something I will use. All right. I'm going to need to press this over. 
make sure we're pretty much at the edge there. So our base is done. We have a little bit of lifting here on this edge. So I'll put a little more collage podge in there. And this is just regular like scrapbook cardstock that I've got down as my base here. And then Let's add some elements to the top of it. And I'm wondering if I want to add a piece of this fabric here. Yep, I think I do. I think I do. So we will just see how this works out. And hopefully when we go to cut it up, we won't have too much problem getting that cut apart <laughs> if it needs to go across that fabric but I really love how that speckled dyed fabric turned out for that accordion album I did and so I wanted to use a little bit more of that there and then Maybe a piece of this, um, I think it's muslin, mu muslin fabric that I had used on the last master board and folded it over on top of the tags. And I'm thinking I want to add it sideways there. A little more to stick it down with. That is some thick fabric so we're going to add quite a bit of collage podge to get that laid down there and I like the fiber sticking out so I'm good with how that looks okay so there's our fabric down now let's figure out where we want to put this. Hmm. I think maybe cut it off there and add a torn edge to it and ink. Add it to right at the top of that fabric that looks nice. So add a little line there and add it on, and then a little over the top. Maybe this torn piece of this somewhere. Let's tear it on all sides. And ink. Add that there. That's another one of the fabric pieces. <laughs> A little fabric string. And I can add that to the corner there and a little loop-de-loop -loop maybe. If it'll cooperate, we can 
just to add another little element. Oh, I like that. <laughs> okay, and then maybe this sweater looking piece somewhere. Let's tear two edges. See what we got. I like it there. We're just going to snazz this fabric all up up there. Let's see. Add a little bit more. And just add it kind of wonky way. And for anybody that has not watched me do a master board before, um, if you are to the point where you're thinking I'm a crazy woman, um, it is um, a hot mess look before it is a collaged masterpiece. <laughs> so stick with me and you shall see the finished product. That was another piece of that uh, sweater looking material that I just put there and didn't ink. It's so tiny, I just left it as is. All right, and then I think maybe some Tim Holtz fabric tape. We try to keep this in the shop also. It comes in um, two designs in one package, but um, we have been selling out of it every time we get it in stock, so we're trying to order it in a larger quantity for y'all. And you really need the backing to come up with you and not just the fabric <laughs> so you don't have anything sticking to the other. Okay. All right. And then add that to that edge there, I think. And let's see. Cut it off about... Yay. And then tear off and hopefully it doesn't stick to itself. And then just kind of add it to the edge. I'm doing that on this side because I can see a little bit of the white base. So I'll add that there and then add some collage podge over the top of that to seal that on maybe. It's got sticky on the back of it so hopefully we won't have an issue. I've used regular washi tape on a master board before so we should be good with fabric tape all right and then maybe a couple of words and semicircle like a little half of one about there I like that and that's the back side of that paper and then some of these words here. Let's get that down. And turn it back like I want it before it sticks down. There we go. <laughs> Trying to scoot it some uh, to get it where I want it. Okay. And then, let's see. Oh, I like all of these little sayings, so thinking maybe let's just tear that one. And we're not gonna ink or anything, we're just gonna add it on. We'll add a little bit of ink 
to it in a minute. Let's try to keep that as straight as possible. Um, the colors of fall. I love that. Let's do that one up here at the top. I'm not going to have room for all of them. Let's do that one there. All right, and then let's do this changing colors. down here and not that any of that is going to be cut out in the same um, piece but you know just kind of go along with that phrasing there who knows how it's going to get cut out that's the fun of masterboard in my opinion all right, I'm going to add some tarnished brass splatters while it's still wet and um, let it do its thing. We're going to let it dry once we get this on. Love that already. I love splatters. So last month we did some... Um, tinting of our collage podge and change the color of our masterboard completely with that and I love that I love how that turned out this month we're going to do color changing with some ink splatters and see how that turns out so I'm going to let all of this dry and then I'm going to go wash out my paintbrush and then we will come back and see how everything has dried and set and then we're going to flip it over, cut it into pieces and then decorate those pieces and uh, see what we come up with. All right, so we are all dry and I want you to look at that shimmer that you get from the tarnished brass um, spritz spray that we just splattered on. I love that. So it's all ready to chop up. <laughs> now, of course, if you wanted to, uh, you could scan these and um, use the scans over and over and over again. I'm just one that likes to, let's just chop it and <laughs> I've got so much in my stash already and very little computer space, memory space. So <laughs> let's just chop it. All right, so we've got an eight and a half by 11 sheet. We are going to turn it over, cut it in half. I'm gonna cut it in half this way. And I'm turning it over so I don't have a fit of what I am cutting. I'm just going for it. And let's see if it comes apart. If not, we will just use our scissors to make the rest of that cut. And if needed, we will go in and um, glue down anything that is not all right. or has come up from us cutting it like that. Okay, I'm still not gonna look on the other side. I think what I'm gonna do is cut, hmm. Yep, I'm gonna cut three and a half inches wide for my first cut. Let's just do one at a time. Let's just do one piece at a time. So I'm gonna do three and a half. Three and a half cut there. Okay. 
And then this is five and a quarter, it looks like now, or right at five. Yeah, right at five. So let's do two and a half on this. Okay. So we're still got it. We've still got them turned, uh, not facing us. Okay, this is uh, one of the tops. I'm just going to barely trim to get that excess off there. Get all of that off. And then let's do. Hmm. Let's do a three inch. Okay. And then we are left with a little over five and a half. Let's go with three and a quarter and then we'll have a little fat one and then a little skinny one okay I like doing that I like I think on the last one didn't we yeah we did all the same size pieces on the last one this one we've got some skinnier pieces some fatter pieces so we can use them as different things so dun, dun, dun. <laughs> let's flip them over and see what we've got. So here was our bottom piece. Look at that. I like that. Okay. And then that was right, yep, that was right above that. And then, oh, that was on the edge here. That was the other edge. So there and there, and then there. So there were our all of our pieces. That was it to put together. And now we've got these six pieces to do something with. So I've already got an idea for this one. Let's just go at them one at a time. All right, I'm gonna get my Rustic Wilderness ink and I'm gonna go around the edges of this. And I'm thinking I want to do a little piece of something here just so that you only see the word fall. Let's do a little half circle over here too. Or a piece of circle. It's not actually a half circle, is it? Let's go out this way. Let's go ahead and ink that. And we can cut off what excess there is. And I'm going to glue that on there. So we're doing a little extra to these this month than just making them tags and sewing on the tops. We're going to actually decorate the whole piece too. All right, get my sticky scissors. Cut that excess off there. I like that. Very cute. And let's get off all of our trash pieces. I like the pumpkin at the bottom. And then that piece there at the top. Let's wipe off our excess glue. Um... We might can do another, oh, look at that, that's cute. Let's do that. And have that, hey there, pumpkin, down below the word fall. Ink the edges and put us a little glue on the back of that. 
and maybe just a little bit more, just a touch more of circle on the bottom part of that Hey There Pumpkin label. And let's stick that as close to the bottom of that as possible and over just a little bit so we're not hanging off the edge. Cute, I like that. And then you could round corners if you wanted to. I think I'm just gonna round the bottom corners. So let's do there and there, and then I will trim off doesn't matter if my glue is dry or not. Usually my corner chomper does not like to cut master board. So I have to usually trim it a little bit more. So I like that. You could add a tassel at the top and make it a bookmark or a tag to go in your journals or as an accent on your scrapbook page. That would be very, very pretty. So there's one. Let's go with this. And I think I'm going to do the decorative corner chomper, the stub on the edges of this one. I like that and then ink all of the edges. This would be a cute um, page tuck on a, uh, in a journal. I like that little remember. And I like the A, so we could cover up this UT over here. Let's see, I've got this little postage looking thing. Kind of do it out this way and cut off the excess. Remember a, and then let's do another little word label. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm gonna ink this in vintage photo. And get it adhered down there. And I'll cut off that excess once it is dry. And go ahead and do vintage photo on this. And this little um, label from Nancy's Fancies. And it says happy and I hand wrote in a glitter pen time on there and just ink the edges and I'm leaving it white. Usually I don't like a lot of stark white, but I like that. Just right in the middle. There and away from that A so it looks intentional. And then this little remember tag there, or label, there. Remember a happy time. Pretty. All right, let's cut off our excess of this little postcard thing. That's pretty, I like that. And then, yes, you could put um, a slit up there and make yourself a little tag tassel. Let's see if we can get our slot punch through this. And in middle here. Mm. Yay! <laughs> That's a little slot punch from uh, Stamp It Up. I don't know if they still make it or not. And maybe some of this lace here. Let's 
go through the slot. And then up. I like that. They're a little long, but I like it. <laughs> Let's trim those. I need my good scissors. My sticky scissors won't do the job. There we go. That little tag done there. And plenty of space on the backs of these to journal on. Changing. Mm. That's a good good saying. We're always changing, aren't we? Let's do that half inch round. I've used that quarter inch on the other side so much that it doesn't want to work all the time. But now that was on some of that um, fabric tape that I had put on there. So, or some of the fabric that I had added to it. It's not the tape on the edge. There we go. And let's go ahead and use our green to ink the edges. And I think I want to find a butterfly die cut to add above the word changing. That is a good idea there, Melina. So let's see. I think I have all of my butterfly die cuts in my ephemera journal here. Let's look. Oh, yep. There are some pretty ones. Let's see if this one is too big. I like the colors on that, too. Mm, I'm not really digging the color of that one against that, that background color. Oh, yes. That's it. That's the one right there. And I don't think we'll need anything else. I think I'm going to do a little bit of green around the edges of this one. Oh, I like that. And then I'm going to put this down with some glue dots. That is my go-to for putting down thicker die cuts. Especially if I want them to be a little interactive, I will just put a few in the middle of the die cut. And then I want this to show, so I'm going to put my butterfly off to the side a little bit here. Oh, I like that. Pretty. Let's go ahead and deco punch this one. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the corners how I want them on these. Let's do. half inch round on this one. Got some fabric in it. <laughs> we shall see. Yep. Gonna have to clean that out real good now because I've got some sticky right there. All right, let's use our sticky scissors. And get those cleaned up there. Yep, see there's that that's that fabric and that was on that edge too. So we got fabric tape here, the fabric piece there. 
Okay. And then for this one, I think I'm going to leave it as is. So I'm not going to round the corners or do anything to the corners on that one. And I need to cover up this little part here. Could put another some type of word label there, maybe. That would fit. Oh, I like that. Okay, and let's go ahead and ink these edges. All right, I'm going to cover mem memoir right there. I'm going to cover that up with colors here. So just trim this off there and then do some fancy dancy trimming there to get it all on there. Oh yeah, trim just a touch more from there and see if we can get it to fit pretty good. We can, I like that. Let's go in just a touch there. Yep, I like that. All right, so we can add that to that one. And then I like that leaf and I think I'm going to fussy cut that out to add to this one. So let's go ahead and trim these words off here and I think on this one I will find a small butterfly and add it maybe there and add just a couple of um, oh yeah let's do that let's add a couple of labels, word labels to this one. And I can put changing above this because there's enough of colors left on that one that you can still see that. So changing, put that there, and maybe even one more little label or something of some kind. Let's look at this. Nah, we'll find something else to put on that one. So let's get this leaf fussy cut out. All right, I'm going to distress ink with some vintage photo around the edges. And then I'm going to put this one on like so with, um, let's see, I think I want to use some of, I was going to use my glue dots, but I think I want to use some of my foam tape I've got here. This is the Tombow foam tape, and we have this in the shop, and it just gives a little bit of dimension to your projects. And I'm just going to use my sticky scissors first. I'm just going to put a couple of pieces on the back side of my leaf here, a few pieces. So one, two, three, and then a tiny piece on the back of the cutout heart. And then take my backs off. Okay, all of my backs off. And then just to give the leaf some dimension so it doesn't get lost in that background, put it on with that foam tape. And you've got that dimension there. 
ready. Okay, and then let's add, I don't think I'm going to ink around this. I'm just gonna use some liquid glue and put down my So Very Grateful label there. And then my changing label to go right above the colors word. Okay, and then maybe Oh yeah, I like that. A little rose stamp and a little butterfly. Let's look at this one. That butterfly's a little loud. Let's see if we got another small one. We might not. I like that. Okay, so that's one of the labels that we made with M Scrap Busters couple of weeks ago so just kind of put that at an angle there and then take the backing off of this stamp and i'm going to add a little bit more glue to the back of that just because it's not meant to be glued up against collage pars so you might have a little resistance there Okay, there's that little journaling card all decorated up. And then there's that one. Okay, so let's finish this one. Let's add this word here. And then I know I'm going back to butterfly land, but I really like those butterflies on there. That really... Just set that one off. I really like that. But I don't want to cover up too much. So let's get this itty bitty one. Oh yeah, pretty. I like that. I'm not even going to put any ink on it. And I'm gonna put it on with liquid glue. I need my uh, here we go, guys, those Nugers that are in the little packs that I showed you. Get one and scooch that glue over to where you need it. So I'm going to start calling them Nudgers because I'm nudging my glue over. Instead of glue dots, this had a few little layers there, so I went ahead and used liquid glue, and I'll need to hold that down for a little while to get that on there great and stuck really good. So I like that on the edge there. We got autumn colors. I think I'm good with these guys. I think they all turned out so pretty. I will have you some um, still shots at the end here and I will kind of line it up like it was before we cut it so you can see how all this played out here. There's that, and then that one's at the top, and then this one was here, this one, yes, just like that. So there was our master board all together, and now we have these tags and journaling spots to add to our um, scrapbook pages if we want to, our journals, um, our little mini albums, or you could send them to friends as cards. I love how these turned out. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it so much and it helps me with, with YouTube a lot. And I thank you for watching through the entirety of the video. That also helps me with YouTube. 
And if you're not a subscriber, please do so. Subscribe and click that little bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. And I will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day. God bless. Bye, y'all.